Yo, what's going on, y'all? My name is Jay Crum, and uh, the reason for my video uh, today is not your typical. I'm not here for any, you know, I'm not here for any music advice. I'm not here to rap for y'all. I'm not here to do any of that. Uh, I really uh, have some stuff weighing on me heavy, and. I need to talk about it, right? And I, you know, I got therapy and everything like that, but I, I, I feel like I got some stuff on my heart that I really feel like I need to share. Um, I'm just gonna rip the band-aid off. So growing up, I was part of a cult. Now, that word I don't use loosely. That word isn't something that I'm, it's not an emotional response. It is after taking years of analyzing what I went through and the people I love went through um, and checking the data, checking the stories, checking Everything, checking all the boxes I spent, I basically spent the last few years checking the boxes to make sure that term isn't being loosely, that I'm not saying anything that's an emotional response or anything like that. I was part of a cult. Not only that, I left that cult and I joined another cult. <laughs> Fam. I am, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, uh, I, 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 I'm, it's embarrassing, um, to think about, right? It's embarrassing to, to process. Um, but I have to like understand that, man, um, a lot of this isn't my fault, right? And like coming to that realization, um, has been a struggle, but, um, I think I'm there. Uh, but I need to talk about this. Um, first things first, let's talk about seven signs that a person is in a cult. Because I think there's a lot of people who are like me who don't realize what you went through and what you were in was an actual cult. So let's talk about it. So first is opposing critical thinking. So anytime you have a question or anytime you say, hey, this doesn't make sense or anytime where you're like, hey, this doesn't seem to line up. And you're, you know, you, you, you face opposition whenever that comes up or, you know, you're told, hey, stop asking questions, just have faith, you know, things like that. That is one sign that, hey, you might be in a cult. Um Number two is isolating members and penalizing them for leaving. I know growing up and even when I went to the other one, uh, whenever somebody left, they backslid. That's what it was. Like, if you're not here, you backslid. If you, you know, even if you went somewhere else, you're, you went somewhere that doesn't have the truth. You went somewhere, you backslid. There is no other reason for you to leave here unless we send you or you backslid. And um, that happened over and over and over again. Um, I was told, you know, to, you know, man, just, you know, pray for them. And, and, you know, they're like, and then when it came back, they were treated like they were the prodigal son. Like, like, you know, they left and did something wrong. And man, you finally returned back to, to God because you walked through our church doors. That's, that's, that's wrong. Number three, emphasizing special doctrines outside scripture. Um, went through, went to a church that, you know, um, they would laugh, right? They would just laugh. And that was like their thing. Like they would, they called it laughing in the spirit. And, you know, they would just have a moment where they just break into this crazy laughter. That's not in the scriptures. You know, um, there were belief systems, you know, that, you know, if you weren't baptized in Jesus name, and if you did not speak in tongues like you were going to hell that's not 
you have to twist the scriptures into a pretzel to even try to make that make sense, right? Um, another one is uh, uh, people seeking inappropriate loyalty to their leaders. Um, that's people dedicating their whole life being loyal to this person, right? They're not getting paid, you know, to, to do all the things they do. Everything's coming out of their own pocket. Um, you know, they're, they're helping build their house. They're, they're doing all the construction for them. They're doing, like, all of these things are happening. And, and, and there's, a, there's a difference between, like, yo, I'm here to serve and, and, like, this crazy loyalty that, like, yo, this person can never be wrong. Like, even if you're telling me something that I know is wrong, I am, I'm writing because I'm loyal to you. That's, that's, that's crazy. That's crazy. You know, call in your pastor, your dad, and, you know, like these boundaries being crossed, which brings me to my next one is dishonoring the family unit, telling, you know, um, uh, telling husband, you know, having husbands keep secrets from their wife and, and, um, vice versa, or, um, you know, uh, telling kids to defy their parents or, um, I've seen that happen over and over and over again, where you, where the pastor, maybe, maybe there was a kid who went to the church and their parents didn't. And you're telling the kid, you know, I've seen it telling the kids that you need to, you know, you need to listen to me and not your parents, like things like that. I've seen that happen over and over and over again, um, even to the point of taking kids out of their home and bringing them with you because, you know, they had an argument with their dad. And so instead of making that right, they do that. So it's just there's just been a lot of like inappropriate things going on. I've seen it happen. And six, uh, crossing biblical boundaries of behavior versus sexual purity and, and personal ownership, right? So, like, um, man, I've, I've seen um, I've seen a lot of this happen. I've seen, oh, man, I know of people who have been molested, people who have been raped. Um, I know of... Uh, a lot of that just just weird, um, weird, awkward touching and inappropriate boundaries. Just just a lot of inappropriate physical boundaries. Um, there's uh, even with marriage, husbands acting like they own their wives. Um, there's just weird boundaries that are crossed a lot in these places. And seven is separation from the church. And when I mean separation from the church is like, hey, our church is special, right? You say our church is special. Um, our church has the real truth. Every other church that doesn't believe like us is wrong and they're going to hell. I went to a church that believed that, right? Uh, any church that does not believe exactly like us is going to hell. And, and, um, that's a sign like that, that type of separation from other believers. Um, it's a telltale sign that you might be in a cult. Um, but I understand this, that like when you're in it, right, you don't realize it, right? When you're in it, you don't see it. And, um, and so I'm saying to you guys, and I'm hoping that what I'm saying is making sense that um, please, please, please look at where you're at. And if you you find yourself seeing that, man, a lot of this is where you're at. Get out, get out, get out, get free. That You don't need to stay there. You don't. Um, I understand how painful it is and everything, but please. Try to do whatever you can to get out of there. So I, I will be diving in more into my personal story. I will be talking um, about a lot of the things that I went through. Um, I just wanted to make this video. Uh, one, to let you guys know that you're not alone. Two, to see, man, if you're stuck in this, like there is a way out. Um, one, 
to know that you're not alone, um, that I've been through it, um, and I'm still dealing with a lot of the trauma from that. And two, I just want you to know that you are loved. I do. I want you to know that there is freedom um, and that wherever you are at in your journey, um, there's hope. So, yeah, um, I'll be telling more of my story. Um, and, uh, you know, I hope you guys are able to kind of, I hope you guys stay tuned. I hope you guys, um, you know, hear where I'm coming from. Um, and, uh, I love y'all. That's really it. So, yeah.